Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about Clay, James Joyce from James Joyce Short Stories, Dubliners. I hope you all like it. Stay with me until the end of this video. So before we start, let's take a look in the background. So Dubliners was published in the early 20th century. In 1914 it was published and the story Clay, the short story Clay is told in a indirect free style uh, which means that the narrator and the protagonist has similar opinions and it's hard to know when the narrator is talking and when Maria is talking. Uh, we can see the stream of consciousness in the story uh, we can enter in Maria's mind uh, in the beginning in the beginning of the story uh, according to some researchers Google uh, 68 percent of people like it uh, the short stories the short story clay by James Joyce and uh, the setting uh, is Dublin and uh, we can see we can follow Maria through her day and in the beginning we can know that she's a catholic woman that by coincidence or not lives and works in a charitable protestant charitable uh, laundry uh, at the beginning of the story uh, we can notice that she didn't like Protestants, but now living with them, she like she likes them, and she said they are a little bit um, serious. Um, Maria uh, is the main protagonist, and the other ones are Joey and Alfie, the brothers that Maria nursed when they were younger. Uh, Joey's wife and their children. We also can see throughout the story um, a stout gentleman that she finds in her way to Joey's house and the two next door girls. Uh, so Maria goes to uh, the streets of Dublin. She gets bored on a tram which means subway to buy some pancakes and plum cakes because Halloween is coming so she's going to Joey's house to celebrate with them uh, there she finds a gentleman that was a little bit drunk and she gets a little bit frustrated because of it and she forgot something there she wanted to make a surprise for Joey and his wife and the children but unfortunately it didn't work because she forgot the plum cake at the tram and she got really upset about it because her little surprise failed and Maria uh, really cares about trivial details in life so this is really sad for her and she almost cries after this another another things happen uh, they start to play some activities the two next uh, door girls um, start to play uh, the divination game and they invite Maria to do this game to participate and Maria uh, is blindfolded and in this game the purpose is uh, to touch the objects that reveals your future okay so Maria uh, unfortunately touches clay clay symbolizes death in life and death itself okay so by this we can infer those themes but actually the word clay itself didn't appear in the short story um, because 
and she touches a wetty and a wetty substance. So the word clay didn't appear. So we can infer because of the title and because clay represents death in life. Maria is living her life, but she focuses a lot on simplicity, on trivial details about life, because she doesn't want to suffer uh, the bad things that are happening in the world. So she focuses on the small details. Uh, by the end of the short story, uh, Joey offers Maria uh, some drink, drinks, uh, stout, uh, which, which means uh, a very strong kind of beer, it's a black one, very strong, and she refuses because she didn't want to drink. Uh, also in the story, we can notice that Joey and Alfie, the two brothers, don't talk anymore, and Maria gets really sad about it because two brothers that don't talk anymore, what is the point? Um, but she can infer that alcohol is something that could separate the two brothers and she refuses uh, to drink but by the end she accepts because Joey insists um, about drinking and she accepts. Uh, she drinks wine um, with the family. Uh, in the end of the story, um, Joey asks Maria to sing a song called I Dreamed That I Dwelt. Uh, the meaning of this song is very nice because it's about romantic um, ideals and uh, uh, marriage ideals. Uh, unfortunate, unfortunately, Maria is a middle-aged woman, and actually, she's not going to get married soon. But she has to sing the song. She starts singing it, and she repeats the first verse two times. But nobody pointed at her her mistake. Uh, by the end. Joey got emotional because uh, Maria, he remembers that Maria touched the clay and he remembered that she's an old lady and she could be in another stage, she could uh, pass away in some years or some months. Uh, Joey, like Maria, tries to get out of the reality. Uh, he asks by the end of the short story, the corkscrew, uh, which is the thing that we use uh, to open wine and uh, other drinks. Um, the story doesn't have a denouement, denou if I'm not mistaken the pronunciation, because um, there is no end. Uh, the end is subjective. We can analyze the short story many, many, many times. Uh, there is no uh, conclusion. Uh, we have to analyze all the aspects. We have to analyze what happened to the characters, what is happening in the story. So that's what really matter here. Uh, and I'm going to show you guys the music, the Celtic music that Maria sang by the end of the story. Thank you all.